24 hours after mass chaos at Claremore Public Schools, a woman is behind bars. Police say 48-year-old Stephanie Montgomery admitted to calling in a bomb threat Tuesday, and as a result, school was canceled for the rest of the day at seven campuses. And no explosives were ever found. Two Brooks TV reporter Micah Hatfield has been on this story from the beginning and explains how police found Montgomery. Claremore police say they're still trying to learn exactly why Stephanie Montgomery made that call, but she did tell them she woke up angry on Tuesday and wanted to test the police. Our investigators went to her house, actually ended up speaking to her um, just on her front porch. Um, she did make admissions and confess at that point to placing the phone call. Claremore police say she doesn't have any school aged children and they do not believe her adult children ever went to school in Claremore. Montgomery doesn't have any ties to teachers or staff and never worked for Claremore Public Schools. I don't think people that weren't here know the disruption this caused, um, not just to our schools, to our city. 3,800 students and about 400 staff members were evacuated and taken to other locations. Several agencies in the state spent hours sweeping the schools, making sure the bomb in the backpacks Montgomery mentioned didn't exist. Claremore police estimate it costs thousands of dollars Tuesday to handle this threat. I hated that we had to go through that for our children, um, but you're right. Um, that's something that we will will learn from too. Um, the schools will learn from and going forward, it will make us even better. Claremore police say the threat put their emergency plan to the test. They plan to get the agencies together to review, but overall they think everyone came together well even members of the community stepping in to help. We had local community members from our churches, from just businesses to private citizens showing up at our relocation sites, providing food, providing snacks. This was not something we even asked for. They reached out to us. Claremore police say this is a prime example that if you call from a blocked number, that doesn't mean they won't find out who you are. In Claremore, Micah Hatfield, Two Works For You.